Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cal23, back another video, and today, got some more tips and tricks for you guys, this time in Battle Royale. This year, Battle Royale has completely changed, and I mean, it's just a different mode this year. Uh, drafting is completely different um, from 19, so if you haven't really caught on yet at what you need to do, um, I'm going to go through a draft right now and tell you guys the tips and tricks to get yourself the best team to give yourself that uh, chance at 12-0. and 0. So... This is the year that starters actually matter. Every year before this, we we didn't you know we didn't draft starters. We just drafted commons. But now common rounds are reduced and starters matter. So it's a lot different. So let's enter in here, 1,500 stubs, and immediately I see a couple names stand out: Raleigh Fingers, Reggie Jackson, Hal Newhauser is also available, but I'm not sure I want him. Uh, he's a good starter, but I think I'm gonna either take Reggie or Raleigh. I actually really want to try out this Reggie Jackson card, so I'm going to take Reggie, but it would have been an alright pick to take the other guys. Uh, it wouldn't have been the worst. Alright, here, let's take some pitching. Pitching really does matter, guys. And, um, bullpen, um, energy, like those guys, they, it, it gets burned, dude. It goes fast, so when you are drafting, get a lot of bullpen arms. Uh, let's see here. Ryan K uh, Klesko? Did not know about this guy. Looks like he's a really strong right-handed hitter. Uh, he's pretty similar to this Ortiz with stats. And then, of course, we got this Yachty, who would be a decent catcher. Um, of course, I'd really kind of have some bias in this pick if I take Ortiz here. But, um, I don't know. None of these picks are the worst. Um, Strasburg isn't the worst here either. I got to take my boy. Let's take David Ortiz. So, now we got two strong lefties. We got to remember that. Uh, Tony Sip is a really good budget left-handed pitcher. Um, so, so far, you guys, we have um, a righty. Lefty, you got to keep track of this stuff as you're going. So two lefties on the lineup as well. You just want to keep track of this stuff. Be careful with it. J.D. Davis, extremely really good silver right there. We'll take him to balance it out. Now, with the common rounds, you can still take uh, starters. I'm going to. Um, even though I said you shouldn't, there are two common rounds, and I actually recommend you either take it for the starters or you throw one on the bench because uh, BR is a three-inning game. You can, you can survive this mode with two solid starters alternating. It would be nice to have three, but you can survive with two. Uh, right here, let's see. We got a decent Ryan Braun. Robles can field and hit. Or, he just can field pretty much. But, um, I am not. I think I value his fielding right now. I'm going to take his fielding. Um, let's see here. We got Tanner Roark, Kyle Crick. Oh, boy. This is not a great round. It's a round you kind of want to throw away, so let's burn a hitter, all right? Let's burn a hitter right here. So here's a round that would be normally, you know, you cl you count out the pitcher, but I'm going to take the pitcher. Here's why. I didn't like the silvers in that round. Getting a silver pitcher, it's really helpful, guys. That's my big tip for you. Get at least two silver pitchers, or get at least two good pitchers, right? If you want to get Kluber, get Kluber. Um, keep in mind, if you get Kluber, you can probably only use him every other game. Um... If you're using him a lot, which you probably should. I mean, you know, you picked Kluber, might as well use him, but it's a risky move um, doing it uh, every single game. He's just going to be burnt out on energy. Uh, Michael Gibbons, really, really solid silver reliever right there. I'm going to take him. Um, so I think I can burn, I think I can burn a, um, a uh, right, relieving pitcher right here. I have two solid silvers. This guy's not too bad. He's got a sinker primary. So that's an okay pick right there. Nothing crazy. Cy Young, ooh, no, those aren't the greatest of stats from him. Will Smith or Miguel Rojas. Uh, I'll take Miguel Rojas. High vision. Not the worst in the world. Right here, ooh, boy. Uh, it's probably got to be Mitch Garver. He's an absolute beast. Uh, David Price, really solid lefty. Two solid starters. But, man, you can't pass, pass up Mitch Garver. Uh, you just can't do it. So, let's see here. Lineup is filled out, but not really where I want it to be. Um, that's for sure. We still probably want a left fielder. We still probably want a second baseman. So we have like 10 rounds to work with that. So, uh, left or second, we have Garcia right here. Um, got to keep in mind if I take Garcia, we're taking out Ruth. That's another right handed bat on the lineup. So I'm going to only have like one, one lefty left. So I'm going to take Strope right here. I'm going to burn this round here on the, uh, on the bronze, because like I said, you don't need too many. Of those really really good starters Ooh, Matthew Boyd might take yeah I'm gonna have to take Matthew Boyd right here solid solid guys so now we have our two silvers that's what I was aiming for I might actually take one more I have one more silver round 
and I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Probably a starter. The bullpen's okay, so we'll, we'll take a bench bat. Oh my gosh, Adam Dunn. Okay, well, this isn't really a debate. You you take Adam Dunn here. This That's just that's the move. That card is an absolute glitch. Oh, Jock Peterson. Okay, the game just wants to g give me all my favorite players right now. Pat Nechek, another glitch. Um, wow, okay, the game is giving me, like, back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back amazing rounds. Thank you. Um, so we're giving another common round. I'm gonna look for speed. They don't have crazy speed, but I'm, I, I'm, if I take, if I take this, if I don't take the starter, I might just get a starting pitcher gold round, which I'm not sure I want. I'm gonna risk it. Give me this guy right here, and give me a good starter. Or, okay, never mind. They're just gonna give me this round. Uh, D Gordon, that's a great bench bat. Solid speed guy. Alright, so we're gonna get an additional starter. Perfect. Oral Hershiser. That's a really good starter to get. And I'm pretty happy with this team right here. This is pretty much what I was looking for. So we actually got a little bit more than I was um, asking for for starters. We got Oral Hershiser. This guy's shut down. Um, let me set the line up for you guys, and uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so here's the team we made. Now, obviously, the the only issue with this team, the left-handed hitters are definitely better. I mean, Jock Peterson, Reggie Jackson, David Ortiz, Adam Dunn. Those guys are all insane. Uh, Mitch Garver, J.D. Davis, Miguel Rojas, Peraza. They're all right. Um, the three batter minimum really does change BR, though. Um, you gotta think about that, too, guys. I mean, when, you're, when I'm making this lineup, if someone brings in a righty, they're gonna have to face a lefty, you know. If they bring in a lefty, they're gonna have to face a righty, etc. So... You know, last year you can bring in a reliever, take him out, bring him out, take him out. You can't do that this year. You're going to have to be really, really cautious with your relievers. You got to be comfortable with them. Even against the opposite hand uh, batters, uh, that's just, it's it's going to be tougher. It's going to be tougher to pitch. Um, so I think, uh, how many how many solid bullpen arms did we get? We have Trevor May. So I think we have three silvers. Yeah, three silvers. But I got a really good amount of solid bronzes. I mean, Nishek, Sip. And Oliver Perez are guys I'm comfortable with. So, I, I drafted a pretty solid bullpen. The starting rotation is pretty good. Hershiser is a nice one. Um, and yeah, guys, this is the team we drafted. And that was how I went through my run. Hopefully, hopefully that draft helped. Hopefully that draft helped you guys learn how I go through this and how you should probably approach it. And uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a couple more tips before I head out. Now, of course, you guys just saw me draft a team. Everyone's going to draft differently. But you guys always got to remember these overall rules to drafting because they will help you. Um, obviously, I'm someone who has played the game a lot. I know a lot about these cards that I'm comfortable with and I'm I'm used to. But you guys have played too and you guys know what cards you like. So, for example, Jock Peterson. Absolutely love using this card. You might not. So, you know, you have to know who to take and who you're going to be okay with. But you also got to be, you know, strategic when you take guys you haven't used yet. Because at the end of the day, I mean... You know, you're just going to have to try guys out. I mean, that's just what it is, man. The more guys you try, the more you know about. There was a point when I didn't really know how good J.D. Davis was. Now he's a beast. So you always got those guys you never know about. Try people out. I haven't really used Rojas yet. We'll see how he does, you know. Always try guys out. It can't hurt you. Uh, unless, I mean, I guess you have to spend 1,500 stubs. But, I mean, that's not a lot. Um, so, yeah, it's it's worth it to try stuff out. Um, be, you know, if you're going for that 12-0 run, you, you want to get guys you're comfortable with. But... You know, you're not guaranteed someone every single uh, round that you're good with, so you got to try some guys out. you got to work things through, and um, practice is going to make purpose, uh, perfect. The more you draft, the better you're going to get at it. The better uh, you, you know, the, actually, the worse you do at drafting, like let's say you start off and you had a really bad draft, you're going to learn from that. You learn from failure, man. You learn from mistakes. It is going to get better. The more you draft, the more you play, the better chance you got at that 12-0, man. That's what I got for you guys today. Hopefully this did help you, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.